Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of First Playing Suicodon 5, and yep, we're here again. But I figured actually carry on with storyline this time. I think I was supposed to go down and see Leon. I imagine that's what I was supposed to do. Let's have a quick check. Let's go back and see save Leon. Yep. Well, I've wasted enough time not saving Leon, so it's probably a good idea to go and save her now, isn't it? Very important quest. You're back. Yeah, How's I am. Leon, Doctor? There hasn't been any change in her condition. She just keeps sleeping. It looks like you had some success. Though, as a doctor, I don't like to resort to a rune. But the patient's health comes first, so go ahead and use it. Makes sense. Leon? Leon? Come back to us, Leon. She's back. Yes. It worked! Oh! Oh, thank goodness! Thank goodness Leon saved! Oh, yay! I thought yay. I told you before not to make a racket in my infirmary. Yay. It worked! Oh! <laughs> oh! Yay! Yep. Tactician is very happy. Relieved, maybe? Who knows? Welcome back, my lady. Ah, la la. A pleasure seeing you here. I've completed my survey of the current threat level of various foreign nations, my lady. The island nations, Nagaria, and the Kingdom of Zalant all show no signs of an ally with Lord Godwin. Despite this, we will continue to monitor the situation. I see. Send messages to Sable and Estrys. Tell them to increase their vigilance and prepare for immediate evacuation. Excuse me, my lady? If the Godwins were to launch an offensive, those two towns would be the first on the list of targets. And you're not, you're not even going to defend them, my lady? If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Just see to it, please. Understood. Forgive my initial reservations, I should know better than to doubt my lady's wisdom. Interesting. She's trying to force a bait, I wonder. Your Majesty, I must air my objections. If we take that course of action, we'll be... Be what? Rebels? Traitors? No, Your Majesty, that's not what I... I understood your concerns, but I have a plan for keeping things under control thereafter. This is what's best for Felena and Her Majesty the Queen. Stop questioning me and commence the operation. Yes, your commandership. Very well, then. Ah, I decided to add a new Queen's Knight for this operation. It's too much work otherwise. Another Queen's Knight. Enter. Him? Prince, I'm coming in. So, Prince, what do you say about seeing Leon again? Let's go, let's go. Yeah, I said, see why not. Let's take a quick write down. Oh, hello, Kavari. I'm sure a time will to tell you about my past will come up someday. Until then, all I can do is ask you to trust me. Well, I do trust you, Kafawa. You're really awesome. 
Leon! Leon, wait, what are you doing? You shouldn't be up and about yet. Oh. oh, no. No, really, you're all better now. Ow. All better, huh? I'll go get Dr. Silver. Prince, forgive me. You've got nothing you need to apologise for, Leon. What a foolish thing to do. If her wound had reopened, who knows what might have happened. Sorry, Dr. Silver. It's just that I feel like something is terrible is coming. Just lying here is driving me crazy. Something terrible? Oh, it's terrible, it's terrible! Lun. Ah, Prince, there you are. This is an infirmary. Keep it down. Uh, oh, sorry. This is serious, though. It's terrible. Prince, we've got a major problem on our hands. Like I said, it's terrible. What's wrong? Prince, wait for me. No, Leon. You have to rest. But... Go, I'll keep an eye on her. So it's another sub-quest without Leon, sadly. Oh, but Lun joined the party, though. What's terrible, Lun? Please tell me what's terrible. Uh, go see Lucretia, okay. I'll go up to the war room. Imagine that's where she is with this type of event. I can really do a fire party because I can't run right now. I can only walk slowly. Walking slowly to a war room. Your Highness, Your Highness, this is bad, very bad. We received an urgent report stating that General Luger and General Novum are moving in door as we speak. And apparently a newly appointed Queen's Knight named Kilderick is in command of the operation. Kilderick? Not that Kilderick from Nevergate. That is not the worst of it. We received word that enemy forces are advancing on both Sable and Estrise. Forces from Arms. The Arms Southern Mountain Corps in Sable. And the Arms Western Marine Corps in Estrise. Arms. Oh no. This is no coincidence. It's a joint operation, carefully planned. A deadly three-pronged attack. I can't believe we're in League of Arms. I've been waiting all this time for the right moment to strike. I bet they have, damn cowards. I'm surprised Arms have even agreed to this. I wonder what terms Godwin offered. It must have been a really tempting deal for Arms to send us such a substantial force. Though that Sable and Estrides weren't last along against much such might. So what's the plan? Let's see. We don't have nearly enough troops to engage all three enemy forces. And if we just focus on one of them, we'll eventually be attacked by the other two. Instead, we'll adopt a defence in depth strategy against all three. We'll slowly draw them towards us, putting their numbers down with repeated minor skirmishes along the way. I believe it's the only way to effectively use our limited forces. What about Estroys and Sable? They'll be. I'll sacrifice my town if need be. Thanks to Lucretia's early warning, the evacuation of Sable is well underway, and Sable Garrison is ready to defend the town. Arms may well take my hometown eventually, but I will pay dearly for it. Yeah, I know you wait making make him pay nest wise. Though that's going to be a bit more difficult. Town lean towards a Godwin's own beginning. And if we tell him to recreate, I doubt well I'll listen. That doesn't mean we shouldn't try. All right, leave it to me. I use that. I'll take it to Rath Fleet and the soldiers from Lelkar. Keep the enemy bottled up. Yes, concentrate on getting the citizens to safety and wearing down the enemy for now. After that, we Dragon Cavalry. Now that arms invading. They'll join the fight, right?
Damn it! Are we being had? We took over his loot and losses of this. Name you shall have a town? Aim us a friend in favor of mighty Mahaspana, commander of the Southern Mountain Corps. Hmm, this is not the kind of fight I signed up for. They were trying to pick us apart bit by bit, but I was down full alert at all times. Seems Prince Feodor knows how to fight when greatly outnumbered. Commander Spana, there is nothing but her Majesty of Queen's older brother. He's no longer Prince, he is a traitor. Details, details! Who cares about all that? To call him a Prince is to deny the ascension of Queen Limslia. Are you attempting to deny the ascension of a Majesty Queen, Commander Spana? No, I see your point then. If the rest of the country is as tough as Sable, we're in for a fight. I'm starting to have second thoughts. You wouldn't by any chance want to sweeten the deal a bit, would you? I have absolutely no authority to renegotiate terms. After you've annihilated the enemy rebel army, you may speak with his commandership of Gazelle about a revised agreement. <laughs> annihilated, huh? Ah, no matter, I'll just take what I want for myself in the end. Why are we having a soldier just standing there? Hmm, a beauty report, don't you think? Commander Shaw Vela, why hasn't your Western Marine Corps advanced? We need you to quickly take Estorise and join the siege against the Rebel Army. Hmm, don't spoil this moment with your boorish attitude. I wish to enjoy a splendid view just a bit longer. That's not too much to ask, is it? After all, I'm doing Gazelle quite a favour indeed. Panda, you're wasting time. We need not be so hasty. Many things come into view when one takes time to observe carefully. Yes, indeed. Many, many things. Commander! Ah, fair greetings to you, Sir Queen's Knight. Fine job winning Dorat of those filthy rebels. Good show. We knew you'd come. Rebel army collaborators are patrol of the town. We held out. Our efforts have finally paid off. Our liberators have arrived. <laughs> where did this rebel army go? And where are the collaborators? Oh, we fled. You see. Well, we were busy welcoming you, my good Sir Queen's Knight. Wait. Right? Ah! What have you done? No, no, please. What do you think? What do you think you're? So you're saying you didn't let the rebel army get away, did you? Wouldn't you call that high treason? No, we didn't let them get away. You don't understand. Mercy, please. <laughs> Die, pigs. Hey, hang their corpses in the town square. Make an example of them. Yes, sir. There are surely more traitors l lurking. Search the area and search it good. You may kill any who resist. Or even if they don't resist. <laughs> this is insane. It can't be in Felina's best interests. If your godwin commands it, we must obey. Dilber. There's a difference between Troy loyalty and blind loyalty. We were able to evacuate everyone before Sable fell. Unfortunately, however, only about two thirds of Dorad got out in time. This was perhaps inevitable. Our troops are now attacking in waves. The operation is going exactly as planned, at least for now. But we started out with far fewer numbers than the enemy. We'll lose by attrition unless something is done. What about the Dragon Cavalry? No word from them yet. I'll go to Swanick's castle. I'll bring my whole Dragon Cavalry back with me. You never have to smack Craig upside the head. Yeah, I'll go with you. That's dangerous. Can we really afford to have a Prince go himself? 
I agree. His Highness must be protected at all costs. No, His Highness must go over to our next to castle with Lady Miyakis. There must be a reason why the Dragon Cavalry hasn't come yet. If it takes a personal request from a loyalist army, so be it. But I'm afraid I'll only listen if we send His Highness himself. Please wait, now a door has fallen. That area is under guardman control. His Highness goes by horse, they capture him at the bridge, by boat. I get to him over the river. What about underground? I heard that cave dwarves dig holes all the way out west. I bet they even show us the way. That seems like our best option. Your Highness, please visit the cave dwarves again then. Cool. Looks like we're going to uh, see the cave dwarves. Ah, Lon, there you are. Ah, perfect timing. We need to ask the cave dwarves thing. Something really important. How about you come too, Pop? Huh? Dwarves? Oh, yeah. No time for that. You coming or not? Oh, all right, all right. You wrote me in. And no. And besides, how's the Pop going to say no to a cute pile like you, Lon? Hey, don't embarrass me in front of a prince. I told you before. <laughs> all right, my little cute pie. Time to see how good he again. Cool. So I've got two more deadweights. What to be fair, Lund's not exactly dead weight. She's actually a decent party member. But it's never nice being forced to have people in your party. Tell you what, I'm actually going to go down to the um down to a basement here. Sort of my party. I'll join you again next episode when I'll start a quest. Bye bye.